<laughs> you thought this was the only, only Brie Larson review that was gonna drop? Uh, you thought wrong. What's going on, y'all? My name is Joshua, aka Future from Mac 3940 once again, and I am here to talk about and review for the Brie Larson review series leading up to Captain Marvel coming out next month 21 Jump Streets. Yep, that's right. We finally get 21 Jump Streets on my channel to review and. This film is directed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller, who went on to make awesome films like The Lego Movie, and originally was going to direct Solo, but Ron Howard took over, and also helped with Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse from last year. This is written by Jonah Hill and Michael Baycall, based on the 1987, 19 1991 TV series of the same name by Stephen J. Cannell and Patrick Hasberg stars Jonah Hill, Channing Tatum, Brie Larson, Dave Franco, Rob Riggle, Ice Cube, Dakota Johnson, and Ellie Camper, and also Jake Johnson. And the plot of 21 Jump Street is we follow these two cops. Schmidt and Jenko and what happens is they they are one day working as police officers in, in 2005 and they catch a break to and and they meet again at the police academy and they, they arrest Domingo, who is this leader of a one percenter motorcycle gang, but they forget to read him his Miranda rights, which when the first time I saw this movie, I was like, how can you forget to r read out your Miranda rights? How does that happen? <laughs> and so they are reassigned to a revived scheme from the 1980s, which involves Captain Dixon and when they join the J J secret Jump Street unit, they use their youthful appearances to go undercover as high school students. They trade in their guns and badges for backpacks and set out to shut down a dangerous drug ring. But as time goes on, Schmidt and Jinko discover that high school is nothing like it was just a few years early. And what's more, they must cover through the teenage terror and anxiety they had thought they left behind. And they have different classes. Channing Tatum having a, a science class with Ellie Camper's character. 21 Jump Street, when I saw the trailer for this back in 2012, I was like, okay, it looks funny, but it could easily suck. But, little did I know, when I saw this movie back in 2014, I think 2014, yeah, it was 2014, yeah, 2014, I had a lot of fun watching 21 Jump Street. I thought it really looked cool. I thought it looked, it was very entertaining. I thought it was very awesome. And I thought it just looked really awesome. I mean, really funny. Let's just talk about the two main characters, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum. These two have awesome chemistry in this movie. I really love their chemistry, the banter, and the, the way they play off each other. It's very awesome to see that. And it's a fun little buddy cop movie. It remind, it's very different from Riggs and Murtaugh from the Lethal Weapon series. And... Is definitely different than um, 
Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett in the Bad Boys series. I can't wait for Bad Boys 3, by the way. It's going to be awesome. But I like this bro, bro, buddy friendship. It's very different. It's very awesome. And it's a different change of pace when you see it. I think it's really cool to see a, see a different kind of awesomeness is there now Jonah Hill his he, he's socially awkward and yet smart and then Shane Tatum's character is a bit slow with it but yet handsome but the humor between them works and the jokes they have works a lot Ice Cube is Captain Dixon I know a lot of people like to hate on Ice Cube and all that but I love Ice Cube as an actor and I love him as a rapper especially in NWA days I love I think he's very funny and he's one of the most underrated talents out there but he is very awesome in this movie as Captain Dickerson he he's the police captain who manages 21 Jump Street all of his jokes were hilarious even when he curses, I just send her like, you are funny, Ice Cube. You're funny. Especially in the Friday movies. It's Craig. I l l even if the movie's bad, he can try to be the best thing about it. Even if he can't fully save the movie itself. We also got Dave Franco as Eric Molson. He is one of the HFS dealers and is a college student. I really liked him as well. And Dave Franco, he is, in real life, he is married to Allison Brie, who plays Una Kitty in the Lego movie films. My review of Lego 2 will be dropping very soon, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Y'all, who else we got? We got Brie Larson here as Molly Tracy. She is one of Eric's friends, and she's the love interest of Jonah Hill. And I liked liked her in this movie. She was really great in this movie. Um, she's very funny. I thought she had her moments. I thought her and Chain, I mean Jonah Hill, did really great in this movie, and she was hilarious in this movie. She, she was hilarious. You also got D. Ray Davis as Domingo. I thought he was really cool. You got Jake Johnson as Principal Daddier. You also have a cameo by, by Dakota Johnson. He was really awesome. She was really great too. This was before the Fifty Shades of Oh Hell No movies, which I am not seeing. I thank God I have not seen those movies. But you also can't leave out... Ellie Camper, aka Miss Griggs, in this movie. She's the science teacher and she has an interest towards Jinko and she doesn't even know that she's a cop. And I like all her scenes, especially the scenes with her chance. And she is a hilarious actress herself, especially on the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. And she was funny in The Secret Life of Pets and she's returned for the second film. And I loved her ever since Bridesmaids. And Ellie Camber, she's awesome redhead actress, and she's very cute. I don't know how what more I can say. Just these pictures will probably try to get what I'm trying to say. We also have cameos by Peter DeLuise as Doug Penholm, and you got Johnny Depp cameo as his classic character, Ted Hansen. A lot of people like to trash John, it's still trashing Johnny Depp, but he was really good in this movie. He was good in this movie. I love, love him in the film. And I love the comedic tone 
It's a different tone from the TV series. I have not seen the TV series, but the tone there is dramatic and earnest. This is a little jokey, very lighthearted, very hilarious. I love the score and the soundtrack. They are very cool there. And the action sequences are also really cool. And, um... My only, my only complaints here is that I feel like there are some jokes that kind of, kind of, doesn't really work. I also feel like the film is a little long. It's a little long at an hour and 49 minutes, but if I was invested, that the one time ain't really the problem. And there is... A few moments where the party scenes do go on for a little too long, but but I'm not gonna have a problem with sitting through parties either. So this is the only exception. But overall, do I have a good time watching 21 Jump Street? Yes, I have a good time watching 21 Jump Street. It is very funny it was one of the surprising films 2012 that I didn't see until 2014 and I did see the sequel and I will get to the sequel but I'm just focusing on the Brie Larson reviews but I'm gonna go ahead and give 21 Jump Street a better than Vampire Academy which is an A minus so that was my review of 21 Jump Street. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so happy to be talking about this one. So let me know what you guys think of this film down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And I will see you guys in the next one. This is Future Filmmaker 3940 signing out. Be sure to follow my social media links down below. And you guys keep it cool as always. And join the epitaphness. Until then, this is Future Filmmaker 39480 signing out.